Yo, Tommy. Yo, bro. What are you doing? Relaxing. Uh, are you ready to vlog? It's... It's Wednesday. Y yeah, it's Wednesday. I have to work today? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> he said it, but it's Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys, today we are going to take a peek inside my life, what it's like managing $25 million worth of cars. I think Steve is over 30 right now, so he keeps me very busy. I get this question a lot, people ask me um, what I do day in and day out, so I'm gonna share a little bit about that with you guys. It's a lot of work, but, but I love my job, and I'm excited to share that with you guys. To start the day, we're on our way to Chicago Auto Pros to visit my buddy Justin. Um, we have some fun stuff planned for the 19th, so we're gonna whip that over there, have him take a look at it, and then we're dropping it off for a maintenance detail for the ceramic coat that was done last year. So that's our first step. But uh, we're gonna go check on Natalia and see how busy she is. The reason we are uh, doing a video about my life is because Natalia doesn't do anything. Um, she's probably watching The Office, so let's go check and see. <laughs> oh, look at that. You busy? We're gonna go to Chicago Auto Pros to uh, get some, some shiz done for the 19th. Awesome. Finding TikToks to do and I'm watching The Office stuff. So. This is new. <laughs> we're on our way to cab. We're heading out. Bailey's gonna grab a quick cold start and then uh, we're off. Oh, also, uh, one more thing. A lot of people ask me what the key to happiness looks like. And in, in my personal life, people say that it's, um, you know, gratitude or being thankful for what you have. It's not. This is what it looks like right here. <laughs> this, is it. this is it. I'm, I'm telling you. Three, two, one. a little pull here, but I doubt we'll have much traction. <laughs> Sorry, Steve. <laughs> yeah, that's a no-go. That's a no-go. Not today. We made it to Chicago Auto Pros. We are here to visit my guy, Justin. Um, I'm excited. I talked Steve into doing a little surprise wrap livery thing on the car. We're gonna keep it a secret for now until it's on the car, but you'll see it in the video coming up. Um, I'm really excited about it. I think it's gonna make everything tie in super well. Hey, how you Hello, doing? Sir. Good, how are you oh, doing? Man. How's it going? We got some. How's it going? Hopefully this so is it. Reds. I know, I didn't know there's so many different variants of red. I know, that's a lot. Uh, that's like so many variants of one <laughs> shade of red. You won't find one that works, I I, I, be you. I bet you, I you won't. I think this was like kind of turning on pink a little bit more. <laughs> None of those match. <laughs> Not even. This is off like the color swatch that you that you picked out. Gotcha. And like when you put it on the white vinyl, it's, it's making it lighter. That's the reality of being a collection manager, man. It's, it's back breaking work. And Justin's the one breaking, breaking back. backs. He's the man. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> This is the one breaking backs. <laughs> so we're leaving Chicago Auto Pros. Um, that was a miss. The vinyl wasn't quite the right shade. Um, I've been searching for a perfect match to Guards Red since we took delivery of the car weeks ago. Uh, and it's harder than it, than it seems since we're not painting it. Um, but we'll figure it out. I'm not too worried about it. So we are on our way to status detail to get this thing a, um, a maintenance detail. Uh, it was ceramic coated a couple years ago. So basically this is just a really in-depth wash. The cars always look brand new after we get them back from, from Evan. All right, guys, Natalia has a public service announcement. Natalia, take it away. All right, guys, my little spiel is that I'd rather get this car than that 918. Let me know if you agree with me. I think this S2K is super clean and you can't find anything like this on the road and props to Evan. You can't find anything like it on the road, but yeah. a, a one of 119, <laughs> they're everywhere. <laughs> never see this. When do you ever see a Yeah, I feel like you see, yeah, you see 19s like <laughs> every day. day. This for you. Um, do you want to go through um, what you're doing for the car? Sure, I guess we don't really actually know what we're doing for the car yet. Uh, we're kind of, that's, that's kind of why it's, you know, status detail is bespoke detailing. So we're going to look the car over, we're going to see what it needs. And uh, if it needs everything, then we'll, then we'll end up doing everything, everything to it. And if it only needs certain things, we'll end up only doing, you know, a couple things. But, uh, but yeah, status detail does uh, bespoke detailing. If you like cool cars, especially the Hamilton collection cars, you can always see them on our channel because we do a lot of crushing you guys. Cars always look, I've said it four times already, but the cars always <laughs> look amazing when they come back from, from uh, status. We made it back to Steve's. Um, Natalia was tired of helping, so she's back upstairs watching The Office. Um, I am here. <laughs> I thought the P1 had to be washed. I was dead wrong. It's actually pretty clean. I think all the cars are okay. It's hard to like, like 
we have 15 cars here, so I don't know who drives what when I'm out of town or who, you know, who what cars to sit and get dusty. So it's a yeah. lot. To and like, another thing to note too is it's winter time, so like is, you no can matter, wash a car, and by the time, time you get it back, back it's, it's salty. So yeah. it's, it's hard to like if you come to the SLS, like this one. If it was summer, I would normally wash that all day, but in the winter, like that's how it's gonna look. Same with the P1. Look at this right here. That's just the reality of driving these cars year round. So I, I was gonna get it washed, it doesn't need it. Um, so on that note, we're gonna take the Ford GT uh, to get the emissions tested. Um, I'm checking out a new car for Steve. Um, at some point we gotta complete the Trinity. So I don't know <laughs> if we wanna do, I love this pearl white. I think white or yellow would look good, but we already have yellow Ferrari, so. Yeah, you guys comment, let me know. Do we wanna do, would you do yellow, white, or matte black. One of my favorite parts of my job is sourcing cars, whether that be new cars that haven't come out yet, that we're getting allocations for, or talking to brokers and dealers and finding hypercars off market that the average person couldn't find. Um, it's a fun challenge for me and I, and I love finding the right spec in the hunt and negotiating. And it's it, to me, it's super exciting because I've spent so much of my life researching cars and prices. And I love that adrenaline rush of like finding the right one and like trying to make a deal happen. And then it gets away. The SLS actually was one of them. We found this one, it was, there was one in Milwaukee that was $20,000 cheaper than this one. And I called and uh, Steve and I agreed that it was a nice spec. And 20 minutes before I called, it had sold to someone else. And I'm like, dang it. So I had to start from ground zero. So it's like always fun to see, you know, what's available and, and what's, uh, you know, what you can get your hands on and what you can. That's it's a fun what challenge. <laughs> <laughs> that, was that was a good one. Let's go with the 4GT. Um, we'll get the 4GT. <laughs> All right, so next step is getting the plaid wash for Daddy Steve, emissions in the 4GT. We're going to check in on the limo at Sounds Plus that's getting some electronic work done. And then uh, I'm grabbing the check from Chicago Motor Cars because Steve sold one of his work cars. And uh, got to go grab that because it's money in the bank. And we can put that towards the new car for the collection. A quick rundown. So. Um, our guys at Chicago Motor Cars, Mike, thank you, I appreciate all your help. Um, they sold um, two of SD's work trucks. They had a Jeep Wrangler and a Ford F-250. They sold the Wrangler for us, so I'm grabbing the check for Steve. We'll deposit that and then pay for the new car. Hear me out. What's up? Why don't we get one of these? I think it's ACR's life. There. Oh. That one. That does look good. Soon. That does I want to get good. a wide body. So I think a Viper is literally like all we're missing. A wide body ACR. Yeah. Like a, Could like you a imagine? Track. That's All that. Right. This is ours. That's yours. Sweet. That Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Yeah. What spec would you guys do on a Yesco? Should we I'm do purple? Thinking, I'm thinking green, purple. We could do white with carbon. The world's our oyster. Oh. I hope the limo is actually here. Oh, we're working on it right now. The limo is in shambles. This is how I, <laughs> how I like to see it. What is all this? This is pretty funny. Is that for the... It's like a old school booze distributor. Bro, we're putting Gatorade in there. <laughs> we're putting Gatorade in there. Look how nice this is right here. A couple bullet holes from when someone got locked in the trunk. Back in the day. I'm glad I'm not the only one who hates this car. That is, there's some justification. He doesn't like it. He does, it doesn't implied. like it, he doesn't it. Was hate it. You could say it. It'll be, uh, it would feel good. It'll be new school, but old school. <laughs> It'll feel good. Just say it. <laughs> Just say it the car. Just say it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no. The limo is well on its way to becoming less horrible than it was, but not by much. We got a check from CMC. Plaid should be washed any time now. Is the C8 doing the stanky leg? <laughs> it is, look at it. Look at that, that back end is touching the ground and then come over here. Is the C8 doing the stanky leg? Oh, here, here. It's like diagonal. There's like, must be an air leak in one of them. So this is what I have to do guys. As stuff just breaks all the time. You saw also mentioned we haven't driven the C8 in forever. We haven't. It, it, it moved from right here to right there. The C8's being seriously neglected. Stratman, if you want two of them, let us know. day just consists of that moving stuff around grabbing what needs to be gotten to bring wherever it needs to go um, so now it's GT um, R8 is going in for a paint correction we're actually swapping that with 918 next week so it's just basically a bunch of random tasks like that to keep everything maintained and clean and working properly Ooh. Ooh. Yes. how 
hard is it to drive this car? Easy. So of all the cars that we currently have and the cars on order that are manual, we have five total, three that are currently in the collection. This to me is by far the easiest to drive. I think that's another reason I like it so much is like, it is so natural to get in this car and cruise where the Chevelle takes a little bit of effort and the Countach is horrible. The GT pass emissions, plaid's all clean. The 19, oh yeah, we're doing vinyl at 19, hopefully soon. And it's getting a, a maintenance detail. The limo checked out. Steve just texted me and told me that he picked up a new car um, that would look pretty good in white if I do say so myself. Check out the vlog next week because we got another one coming to the collection soon. So that's a look into what my job is day in and day out. It's a lot of tedious things like getting cars washed, transporting them to and from shops, um, and helping with figuring out modifications or wheels or transportation or insurance. Random car stuff like that. Basically a day in the life of working with the Hamilton Collection. And another huge part of that is media for me. Since we started YouTube, we've been filming two to three days a week, uh, not including TikToks or Instagram posts or anything. So um, reaching out to other content creators and figuring out fun ideas for videos and vlogs is a, a team effort and we all have a lot of fun, you know, spitballing stuff that we think you guys might enjoy. It's It's been a learning curve, but uh, I love it and it's fun and, and I hope you guys love it too. So I think that pretty much wraps up today's video. If you guys like what you saw, please uh, like, comment, subscribe, um, follow us on our Instagram, uh, the.hamilton.collection. Check us out on TikTok. We try really hard to create fun content for you guys. Um, we also have some merch here. Um, if you guys wanna pick these up, they're pretty sweet. I can confirm they are comfy, I love them. There's a link in the description uh, where you can pick those up. 100% of the proceeds go to charity. So peace out guys. We'll see you in the next one. Hope you enjoy. Car for car, keys right now. Honestly, no. That just means he hasn't driven an ID. Yeah, exactly.